Okay, let's try one of those like crazy, crazy intros. Good evening, everyone. My name is the Go Department, and welcome back to the Nomad Long Today! Does that work? <laughs> Sorry. I just got done doing my P90X, and I am broken. <sighs> if you guys didn't know, I've been exercising for the last week, and I just finished my first entire week of 30 minute workouts every single day with the P90X3, not sponsored. Uh, with Tony Horton, Horton Here's a Who, um, just getting it done, and for reals, that is like the most crucial, like it's, it is a horrible workout, <laughs> I don't recommend it for anyone, anyhow, what are we doing tonight, I ran out of palm wood, so I can't keep building on my palm wood bridge unless I've got some palm woods, so I am going to menu, whitelist these dudes, Right here, and a man. Where'd Pete go? Where's Pete? Hmm, sad face. <clears throat> he left. Shout out to uh, Pete the Cat One for um, lending me his base. Um, I didn't realize he had peeps in here, but um, here we go. They are going to help me out, and we are going to stack up some palm woods just like this. And then we are going to transfer ownership and get them over to our main base. Uh, well, not, not the main base. We're going to get these off the main base over to our secondary base. Uh, and that should be good. That's, that's good. Here. Now I should be able to move this. Um, that's it. Also, subscribe to Heath Haskins. Thank you. Appreciate it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You get back in there. What are you doing? Okay, uh, I need to do a rotate like that. And then put this back just like that. There we go. And we'll go grab a truck. Oh, wait. Uh, I can grab a truck from up here. Deploy, deploy. Come on, buddy. Or, or go your way, whichever. Boink. Nice. Jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Woo! Me and him are working, sorry. Working. Working, working? Uh, like jobs oh he was talking to the other dude because he's like hey come look at my base and he's like dude we're working well yeah yeah I guess you could consider this work um, I'm technically your views do provide me money so I'm I'm technically getting paid to do this so technically big big strong term there um, so, your viewership, if you did not know, helps me provide money to my family. And it helps me get um, revenue on here. Dude, is that your base, Almond? Amen? I like it. Alright, let's not drive over there. Let's drive right here. And then I'm going to transfer a dollar to you. Send money. To ABC. Um, he's got nine mil. Let's make him a let's make him a cool mill. We got millions on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Transfer. This is my base. It is bad. No, it's not, dude. You have full plots and you're working towards uh, making fullness around the outside. It looks good. Okay, so now that should be yours. So now I'm going to go to load. I'm going to load in slot two. Sorry, that's the theme song from Doug. If you've ever watched Doug on Nickelodeon. It's better than Rocco's Modern Life. How many of you just like had reminiscence of Nickelodeon back in the 90s? Hmm? Hmm? By the way, I tried watching the new version of Rocco's Modern Life on like Netflix or whatnot. Just I could not get into it. 
I don't know. I, I think I may have matured since Rocco's Modern Life. But, you know, I, I still enjoy a good old Beavis and Butthead uh, once in a while. Half of you in the, the chat or in the video are like, what's Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> yeah, Bungholio. Sorry, parents. Uh, if I just introduced your kids to Beavis and Butthead, it's historical. It's, it's, they were learning about our history and culture. See? See? Fun and educational. Does anybody remember the tick? Ooh, big blue guy with the, the spandex thing and the, the two antennas. And he always talked like this. Ah! <laughs> the tick. <laughs> Spoon! Ah. Good shows. Good shows. There was a, there was a MTV channel called Amp at nighttime. And I remember, I remember my parents would go to sleep and I'd be laying in my bed. And this is, this is like teenage years. But I remember sneaking up and turning on the TV real low so I could listen to the amp music. And I would sit there with my computer, like old CRT monitor, 4, 480 by 600. That was the resolution of my screen. And I would sit there and try and program. And I'd learn how to program. It was so hard to read books because, like, I had to keep my lights out. Otherwise, it would shine underneath the door and they could see it. And I would sit there and read uh, programming manuals. And I, it, the, the manuals of the time that I had them were old. So I was thinking to myself, oh, gosh, I'm never going to use this old stuff ever again. This is, like, for dinosaurs and AS400s and, and old computers. This is this is the '90s. This is 1998. We're we're living in the Windows 98 time frame. I don't need to know DOS or or command line as it's called now. I remember staying up late to try and learn how to program, and coming so far. I mean, I would write um, my own basic script files. Something called a .bas file is a it was Visual Basic files, and oh, dude, you need to white listen to me. <laughs> and I remember, like, just growing up in the '90s, learning how to program uh, C++ because C sharp wasn't even a thing yet. .NET hadn't been invented. I mean, we programmed with dots, but it wasn't called .NET. So it was like a form one dot text box or txt box one text box one dot text equals and then like you'd set that it was it wasn't classful it was just it was modular very modular and i remember writing all these amazing modules for aol 3.0 and 4.0 api input and process like sin keys and set box so anyhow oh it's a gift for me thank you thank you thank you i love end times axes woo woo all right let's uh let's get to going what was that for me too <laughs> thank you you guys did not have to give me anything. Thank you so much, though. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, because it's under his ownership, is it going is it going to glitch out on me? It may glitch out on me. Oh gosh. Even though it's it's it started out as my wood, it's now under his ownership. So. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just process these because I'm going to need them in one by ones. Uh, do 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 do. This may be the only video tonight. Like this is this is it. Uh, I know a lot of you have not watched the Rain series. I just started it, so if you haven't watched it yet, don't feel bad. Um, I'm extremely happy that I started it. I showed my daughter this evening, and uh, she goes, "Oh my gosh, you're playing the Rain game!" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, it's that one." So she knows which one it is, and she's excited. I'm excited. It's it's going to be awesome. And even if it's not, I've 
got one in the hopper ready to go for the next time. Oh wait, is that too big to fit? Okay, this is blockage. I can't pull it. You're the long plank master. Try to catch them all. Long plank master. Ooh, I should come up with a song and call it long planking or something. And it'll be like to the sound of uh, geriatric guitars or something. I don't know. I wonder if there's a band called Ger Ger Geriatric Guitarist. And if not, there should be. That'd be an amazing band. And then it'd be like a couple of old guys. Like not my old, but like gray hair old. A couple of geriatrics. And they would be like playing uh, rock country guitars. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Look at this one. What did you do, Code? What have you done? Oh goodness, okay. Let's take this one. Oh, excuse me. Oh gosh. Okay, I can't can't grab it. Oh, there goes rabbit. Thank you very much, rabbit. Sorry, that that didn't sound anything like Pooh Bear, did it? <laughs> oh bother. Thank you, rabbit. <laughs> it kind of sounded like Pooh Bear. Hold on. <clears throat> Christ Christopher Robin! Oh, bother. <clears throat> I hope you live as long as I do, plus one day. That way I would never have to go any time in my life without you. Hmm. There were there were a bunch of poo sayings that I remember that were just like, Oh... He said something like super amazing and sweet. <clears throat> uh, but uh, man stuff, like engines, uh, my channel's totally not for kids. Actually, it's it's for kids. And it's for adults. And it's for anybody that wants to come and watch and play and hang out. Because I think you're all amazing. And you all deserve attention. You all deserve the best quality that code has to offer. Okay, we'll just chop that a double time. Mm. Excuse me. I just burped right in the microphone. Code, don't burp in the microphone. We've told you, don't do that. I don't care. I had a burpee and I needed it needed to come out. It was like, hello, my name is Burpee, and I just came to say hello and, and burp into the microphone. Burp, hello. See? Just like that. <laughs> Code, you've lost your mind. Yeah, a little bit. I think that's a requirement to, uh... Why can I not put this up at the end? Oh, okay, fine. Not, okay, okay. That, oh, 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 dear. Dear, 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 dear. Dear, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Don't know why that's doing that. There we go. What? 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 Maybe you answered in the video. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. No problem, Heath. Wait. Why super blueprint expensive long plank kit? Can it code? Can you sign my base? You were the long plank master. Wait, code in October. Can we get Spookwood? Lol. Uh, did you whitelist him? Yes. You still though? Joking. I trust him like my father. You don't know him. He he's a star. Star. <laughs> he's a star's. Hey Heath, what's a great tip to become a famous? Uh, become famous. Maybe you answered in the video. He's going to tell me to work. Be a hard worker. I don't know. Lol. I I will disagree with that. Um, I have seen too many people who did not work hard to get where they're at and just either clickbaited or lied. Um. And that's not to underestimate somebody's ability to attract people, okay? Clickbaiting is a technique. It is it is most definitely a, a an art form. Like, you gotta be good at it, but that's just what it is. It's a technique. Um, kinda like, and please do not take offense to this, kinda like anime, 
okay? There are plenty of how to draw anime tutorials. And if you follow the steps and if you follow their instructions, you can draw anime. Maybe not well, maybe not like professionally, but you can do it. And it's it's through a technique, not, not like a, I don't want to say not a skill because it's definitely a skill, but it's different. Like abstract art, abstract art is weird to me. But that's not to say that abstract art isn't an art form, you know? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, my meds probably wore off and my ADHD is probably going crazy right now. But I, that's only reason. I don't mean to insult anyone that's into artistic things. Okay? In fact, I love doing art stuff as well. In fact, I should probably do a video over like how I do my thumbnails. And just show you a time lapse of like what I do and how I make stuff disappear. Because most of the time, my face is on the thumbnail. If you guys didn't know that. Why did that not go in there? Get in there. Boom. So, I most likely have to um, make my face disappear. If you look down towards the, um, in fact, this video probably right now, like where my face is on camera, here, let's do this. I will, uh, I will take a screenshot, okay? Let's make this. This will be the thumbnail, okay? So I'll just take a quick screenshot. Now, where my face is, if you look in the thumbnail, my avatar face should be right here, okay? And that's going to be where I have to like, take the clouds in the background, bring them down and cover up my jacket because it, it hangs off the sides a little bit. My hair sometimes spikes up above the, the avatar itself, so I gotta get that out of there. Uh, the, the menu bar right there, I'm probably gonna take that out. Um, I usually leave the names in the chat, but for all purposes of the thumbnail, I'll go ahead and take all of that stuff out and just look and see if you can tell where I painted over it, okay? Or I, I smudged it out. So that's one tip of becoming a uh, famous YouTuber, I guess, um, is good thumbnails. All right, you don't have to clickbait. Just make sure that your, your message comes across and it's clear and concise in the thumbnail what your video is about because you don't want to I mean like I could totally put a hot chick on my thumbnail right and lots of people would click that like oh my gosh be like hot girlfriend plays lumber for first time and then have nothing inside the video at all it would probably get a lot of dislike but even though it's getting dislikes it would be getting views so the dislikes and the views would correspond to um, correspond to an logarithm of activity. Activity or interaction with the fan base would cause it to become popular. So even by disliking a video, you would essentially fool the logarithm. Now, that is not a long-term effect. That would not be long-lasting. It would very much fade pretty fast um, because the overall negativeness for example, um, let's just take YouTube Rewind 2018 for an example, okay? It got a lot of dislikes. Now, because it was YouTube's video, it had a lot of interaction. So what happened? It got recommended. Now, I don't know if YouTube is playing by their own rules or if they allowed it or pushed it to the top, which you absolutely can do. Um, in fact, I would love to have the login information and the VPN to connect to Google, to whoever the guy is that controls um, controls um, the logarithm, like that front page. Because there's some guy there, somebody, one of the development team has access to it. Now I'm, I'm sure he's probably sworn to secrecy about the access codes and everything else. And they probably got some firewalls and some access that I'm not going to get to get to. But that would absolutely be fun. Could you imagine? What would somebody pay to be on the front page? Oh, hold on. Move. Oh, okay. Whoa. Unexpected. That's not what I was going for, but okay, cool. 
<laughs> uh, unintended. <laughs> All right, if we uh, move this one, there we go. Now we got to move this one. <clears throat> rotate, turn, rotate, 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 turn, 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 rotate. Okay, so we're going to go right there. Then we can come down here, boom, and boom. Boomer. Boomer. Oh, by the way, um, my wife. Uh, okay, so Oliver asked my wife, what's a boomer? And my wife goes, well, it's a really mean way of saying somebody's old. She, he goes, so are you a boomer? Like, no, no, no. The boomers were like our parents. And what makes them special and why they deserve our respect is you could not make a social media post about a boomer without boomers existing. They made the technology uh, that you use today to insult them. That was from my wife. I'm like, that is very smart. That is that is a IQ 200 statement right there. Okay, how am I going to do this? I want to rotate turn like that, maybe. Hold on. There we go. That'll work. Hey. Now I should be able to grab this one, and then I'm going to jump. I need to do rotate, turn, rotate like that. Okay. First one goes there. Oh, I do. I still have to go up because I have to uh, open the door. And then we can do. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. And then I can do the second one. We've already recorded for 22 minutes. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I've got to get. I've got to get going. Ooh. All right. There we go. We'll just move this next one. Oh, uh, here. You know what? We'll just move it up here. And that way we can move this one up here. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'm actually going to leave this one right here so I know which ones I'm aiming for. Whoa! Stop! Stop moving! Um, by the way, I'm not going to worry about reattaching the doors. I'm just going to build because once I'm done... Uh, oh, 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 oh! Backside, dude! <laughs> All... Presents need to go into the bins. <laughs> Thank you. I just saw it. He's got a huge, huge uh, pink truck full of fire axes. <laughs> He's, oh, gosh. Ah, now I'm all flustered. I'm like, oh, I got a whole bunch of presents. <laughs> I'll, I'm in. Why list me? Bro. You forgot to whitelist me. Come on, Code. Come on. Come on. We're, we're on a build schedule here. Let's do this. Uh, forever. Forever. If you don't know what that's from, it's from The Sandlot. And everybody needs to go watch that movie tonight. In fact... Uh, parents, families, kids, go watch the same lot tonight. Make that your family movie night. Uh oh, that was too low. Now I know, I know what the kids are gonna say. They're gonna be like, "No, I don't want to watch some old movie from when you were a little kid." Watch it. It's funny, and it's it's wholesome, and it's good. It's what growing up should be. Wee, dude! <laughs> I went through the. Wow. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the. Oh, thank you for the gifts. I appreciate it so much. But 
you've got to take it back here. Is that palm wood right there? I think that might be palm wood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait! I'm a reload! That's fine. The this stuff needs to be back here. And I used to have a rule that all things need to be open. I don't know, should I I still go by that rule? Bye. Yeah, I gotta get out of here too. So let's let's go ahead and end it. I just got a bunch of fire axes. And we've we've got more than enough palm to continue with the, the door bridge and we'll get we'll get it there eventually. <sighs> We'll get it there a lot faster than I was whenever I was building the first set. Just saying. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But it's really up to you. It's your choice. It's your decision. If you like the videos, go for it. Hit the bell. You know, give notifications. But if you don't want to get an email every time that I upload something, don't hit the bell. Uh, there is other options. There's sometimes, there's always, and then there's off. I don't know the difference of what you would get if sometimes is clicked. Feel free to click anyone that you like. So, love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> like all tradition, outro. Wow, that was that was kind of.